Uh, hey, good evening. Thank you for attending the December 15, 2020 regular township board meeting by Zoom. Uh, Mary, could you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Sure. I don't have a flag here, but I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, the to the flag of the United States, United States, States of America, America. And, to and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and, and justice, justice for, all. for all. Thank you, Mary. What, uh, what time do you want recorded, Paul? Six o'clock. Okay. And Angie Stino joined us also, guys. Hey, okay. Angie. Hey, guys. I didn't hey. get her in, out of the waiting room fast enough. My fault, Angie. No problem. Recognition of outstanding citizens by the Township Board and Trustee. There are none. Doug, we got none? None. Uh, approval of the October 13th, 2020 board meeting minutes. I so move. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 <laughs> Motion carried 3 0. Action items uh, 2020 incumbences. Doug? Yeah, we've got uh, the action items you have before you are from uh, Michael Klitzing at Parks. Uh, it's out of their 12 15 fund, as you can see. Uh, they've got it broken down to where they have uh, purchase orders for each one of those categories. Um, so that's what's before you tonight on 2020 coverage. Okay. Any discussion on those? All right. Uh, 2021 Trico Regional Sewer Utility Board approval. Doug? Um, so Doug, was that last one an action item? Though does the board yes, need to yes, vote on they, that? They didn't vote on that. You need to vote on oh, that. Oh, we got to vote on that? Okay. Yeah, on action, action item. Uh, on action, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, all in favor of approval of the 2020 incumbences. Uh, I mean, a, need a motion, please, for the right, so approval moved. of the 2020 incumbences. I Second. Moved. Been moved, seconded. Brian, do we need to take roll call for that? Or yeah, you, you, have to do, you have to do a roll call when you're Zoom like that. Uh, okay. Uh, in favor... Uh, signify by saying aye when I call your name. Mary Eckerd? Aye. Matt Snyder? Aye. Paul Hensel? Aye. Motion carried 3 0. Action item B 2021 Trico Regional Sewer Utility Board Appointment Concurrence Letter. Uh, yeah, what you, the other uh, second item you have before you is a concurrence letter. I need your approval to um, appoint Chuck. Charles Meyerson to the uh, uh, Michael board. Barb Lamb is going off and she doesn't want to be reappointed. So um, I, I've given you the name of the person and his resume. Uh, you guys have the option to go along with that or you can come up with somebody you would like to appoint to the position. Okay, thank you, Doug. I have a motion to approve the appointment to the Trico Sewer Board for 2021. I so move. Second. Second. I'll second. Oh, I uh, you didn't. You didn't hear him, Paul, but Matt. Matt seconded. Oh, uh, Matt did. Okay, sorry about that. Fast. Um. <clears throat> All in favor. I have a motion approved. Uh, everybody, signify by signify. By saying aye as I call your name, Mary Eckert. Aye. Matt Snyder. Aye. Paul Hensel. Aye. On uh, carried 3 0. Action item C, resolution number 2020 12 01 major budget transfer from Township Assistance Fund. Number zero eight four zero dot one. Okay, board. This is a uh, a major transfer between uh, items in township assistance. It's just a thousand dollars moving it from a category two stationary and office supplies to uh, line uh, category one, line one B on employee benefits. 
I'm short a little bit. So uh, that's the, the purpose of the transfer. Any discussion on that? Okay, I have a motion to approve resol uh, action item C resolution number 02020-12-15-01 major budget transfer township assistance fund number 840.1. I, I so move. Second. With motion approved and seconded. Uh, <clears throat> all in favor, single by side, when I call out your name. Mary Eckert. Aye. Matt Snyder. Aye. Paul Hensel. Aye. Motion carried 3 0. Information items. Matt, update on any of the projects, please. Um, Meadowlark Park had a successful bid. Uh, that'll be getting started very soon. Uh, uh, the Children's Pavilion at Cox Hall, uh, I went over there over the weekend. It looks very nice. Not just some finishing touches left. I would anticipate, I don't know what the county's thoughts are, uh, county parks, whether they're going to want to do a ribbon cutting in winter or wait till spring, but it looks very nice and it, it very, very nice. I'd encourage you to go, anybody to go over there. Uh, Cary Grove, as the playground is in, the playground surface is down, just some ancillary work over there. It looks, it looks pretty slick, pretty cool playground. Uh, really, really transformed that piece of land. Um, Flowing Well is continuing to have some permitting issues with uh, working in the working in the waterway, but they're moving as fast as they can. The restroom building is about finished and they've got their bridge or their temporary crossings to the creek installed. They're starting to stabilize the bank. Uh, Badger Field House is, is on its way. Uh, the at Fire Carmel Clay building is, is moving. Uh, the site work's about done. It's starting to put in uh, storm sewer and detention. Uh, West Park, which is the biggest of the park projects, uh, is is plugging along. They're going to start slowing down a little bit over the winter, but uh, that ought to be still hoping to wrap that up by the end of next summer. The, the 111th Street Corridor, the 111 Lexington, and the interior roundabout and the new parking lot and new pavement markings. Uh, are finished and look great. The Parks Department is very, very pleased with it. The next one will start uh, this spring at, at Westfield, or Rangeline Road. I can't think, uh, contracts have been executed for both the uh, pedestrian bridge over White River, design contracts for pedestrian bridge over White River and the Historical Society. The, they'll start doing uh, design programming here in the next couple of weeks and we closed on that bond two weeks ago so money's in the bank uh, mr president can i give one update if yes, sir. uh so the the carmel redevelopment commission uh has reached out the property which the crc transferred to the building corporation also transferred, uh, the CRC owned the right of way. And that's now in the title of the, uh, <clears throat> of the building corporation. And then you're the le lessors of that property and subleasing it to uh, the fire department. So the question from uh, Henry Mistetsky is, did, would anyone have a problem Apparently, that ownership is preventing the private development of an adjacent property because they don't have access rights, even though people are using the right of way. Um, so they asked if the uh, building corporation, if anyone had any problem with the building corporation transferring the area that is right of way back to the city as right of way. I just wanted to, it's really a building corporation decision, which Doug is the authorized representative of, but I'm sure he would value your 
thoughts as well. I don't have any problem with it. It won't prevent your lease or sublease of the property, but I didn't want to do it without people talking about it for a minute. So, Brian, there, there'll be no problems of us uh, assigning that back to the CRC and and we'll still be able to, like you said, be able to build and everything like that. And, and yeah, we'll, I think it'd be a right we'll away, it'd be a right away dedication by that building corporation is what it would be. Okay. And then we may have to amend the lease because you technically are leasing all of it. I've got, this may not translate very well. Oh, well, we can say it. Okay. All right. So it's not an action item. I just wanted to be sure. I didn't want somebody to hear about that and go, what the heck's going on? <laughs> so everybody's kind of okay with it? Yeah. Matt, Mary? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll Makes things cleaner. We'll work with Doug to make it happen. Action item, uh, information item B, uh, township board meetings, Doug? Any right. comments on them? Every December, so you guys, the uh, uh, board meetings for the next year in 2021, that's what you've got in front of you. If you have any questions or if you have any concerns about a date, um, just get them out there ahead of time. So if anybody looks and says, hey, this is not going to work or that's not going to work, let me know. We can be pretty flexible with that. The only ones we've got to be very careful with is the organizational meeting, which is the 5th at 6 p.m., and then the annual uh, report meeting, January 26th. Uh, and Angie, you and Brian probably need to make sure that October, or I mean September the 21st for our 2022 budget hearing there is fine. And the October 12th meeting for the budget adoption is fine. So I think you guys are fine in, with, with those dates. Uh, the rest, the other, the other eight or nine are regular board meetings. So. Uh, you know off the top of your head, Angie, on that. I'd have to look. No, oh, I mean, I hope I don't have anything scheduled that far out. <laughs> so I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I think he's talking about the statutory requirements for adoption. Oh, as long as there's I, 10 days between the hearing and adoption, we're fine on that. So I'm not worried about those dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're moving to like the third Tuesdays of every month. Norm now, there's some of them that's not on the third Tuesday, but for the most part, we're going to work on the third Tuesdays of every month now, okay? But it doesn't mean, you, you, you know, we can't say, hey, let's back away from this date or whatever. I, I'm flexible. It's not a problem. But I wanted to get that out to you guys. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I, I, information I am C, 2021 Carmel Clay Parks Board Appointment. Uh, that's my appointment to the Carmel Clay Parks, um, and Jim Eldell is coming off, and uh, I was surprised, but I got a phone call from Michael Klitzing and Mark Westermeyer. Mark Westermeyer would like to serve on the board, so I said, that's fine with me. So I'm going to reappoint, or not reappoint, I'm going to appoint Mark Westermeyer, uh, and I, I think uh, Michael Klitzing was real excited about that to have his experience come to come, come to the board. So okay. the, this is mention it. probably the most important parks board appointment to make because the interlocal is going to be negotiated shortly. And I think it's good to have Mark assumedly on our side as we get into these negotiations. Okay. Good point. Good point. Information item D, annual signing of nepotism policy by board and trustee. Yeah, for any of you that have not signed uh, the uh, uh, nepotism policies, uh, please get it done and back to Debbie as soon as possible. I don't know, um, I think Mary, you and Paul's done it, and Matt, I think you need to do it. And I think I've already, I've, I know I've already done it. Mine's in already. Yeah. yeah. So, so Matt, if you can get it with Debbie right away and get this done before the end of the year, I'd appreciate it, okay? Debbie, will you be in the office tomorrow? Uh, I'll be in on Thursday. Doug Thursday. will be there tomorrow. Okay, Doug, I, I'm gonna, I've got meetings all around Carmel gotta, tomorrow. The doc I'll give you a call and stop by. Yeah, Matt has the documents, right? You have those, Matt? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Matt, yeah. You can, you can... 
I mean, you can mail, mail them back if you want. I mean, or you can okay. drop them off. It doesn't matter. Whichever okay. works for you. I'll get them over to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, financial questions from the board? Hearing none, board comments. 